So today we are going to look at the iDevices wall plug. So this is a wall plug. This is very similar to the iHome or the KuGeek. Um, I'll take this open and see what it, see what it looks like. You can see nice there, the Apple HomeKit logo, so you can feel safe. This is actually going to work. This is a certified device. This box is actually quite a bit smaller than uh, most of the other devices, which is good for the environment, I suppose. Look at that, there's the HomeKit logo, safe and secure in case we need that in the future. There is the plug. As well, we've got the mini HomeKit logo right there. That's about the smallest I've ever seen it. This is the American, North American plug. So now let's go over to the app, add this and see, uh, see what things look like. So here we are on the Apple native home app and we're gonna click on the plus button so we can add a new accessory here. So that's gonna open up the accessory dialog. I do have this already plugged in and, and had it plugged in so I don't have to wait for boot up time. I can see that the iDevices is here. I'm gonna click on that the iDevices icon. And the first thing it's gonna say is add accessory to network. So what this does is this uses the wireless simple configuration protocol to transfer the current settings from your iPhone or, or iPad over to the iDevices device. So that means you need to be connected to the right network um, when you're actually discovering this and adding this to your HomeKit. So the next thing we're gonna do is scan in the HomeKit code, which I'm gonna do here. Uh, you Make sure you have that piece of paper. I said that we need to, to hold on to that. Really important because the HomeKit code on the iDevices is actually on the bottom of the plug. So you cannot see this if the plug is plugged in. So this is why keeping, keeping these papers is really, really important. Um, get a little box, put them all together, that kind of thing. And now we just wait for the pairing to happen. So you may encounter issues. You might have to unplug it, replug it back in, those kinds of things. That's not uncommon. Um, once you're done, successful, the first thing you'll see here is there is a nightlight, which I didn't even realize when I bought this product. This is kind of nice. Is you've got a, a color light um, directly in built into this that you can change. It's, it's a light bulb. You can change the color of it as a nightlight. So that's included in the price of admission. Um, this is actually the only wall plug that I've seen like this, so that's kind of a nice a nice little addition here and differentiates this from some of the other products out there. And then we have to choose which room we're going to put it in, so I'm going to put this in the master bedroom. And now you can see we've got the switch here. So I've got two different um, two different devices that this device, that the iDevices wall plug exposes itself to in HomeKit. It's a night light, a light as well as the socket, the switch, the wall switch. So we've kind of got both of those that we're going to be able to play with and create different automations based on either the light and or the socket. So we'll go over to the room here. You can see we've got that. We can turn the brightness on or up. This is fully adjustable. It's um, got color in it, which is good, right? Um, you can change nice for kids' bedrooms. So let's go over to the iDevices native app now. So this is the third-party app that they give us. And we're going to go find these... Uh, the, the, the device that we just added, the two components, which is going to be the night light as well as the plug itself. And we're going to see what that looks like from within the native app. So we're going to click on the night light here. And of course, you can see it's a night light. Right now, it's showing purple. And there's a firmware update. I really, really like this when I'm setting up my devices. I buy a device for the new first time and I immediately get a firmware update. That tells me good things about the company. That tells me they are taking care of their customers. That tells me that there were bugs found, because there's bugs in everything, but they are being fixed and addressed by the company. That's super important for me when I'm looking at manufacturers that I wanna invest on going forward. Um, if there's no update here, unless the device just came out, I'm, I'm a little concerned about investing in multiple of these. So while we're waiting for that to update, we're gonna go over and look at the, the wall plug, the socket switch um, version of this, which again, it appears as two separate devices, but this is the same physical device. It's got those two characteristics, two services um, from a HomeKit standpoint. You've got the night light as well as the switch. And the switch is, it's pretty basic. It's a switch. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. Um, they do have the ability to kind of track 
power usage and those kinds of things in here, which you'll see in um, in pretty much all of the socket apps that I've seen so far. But other than that, it's um, it's just a power socket. I do like the way, the shape of it. Um, you can fit two of these in your standard North American power socket. It's not consuming, you know, a big blocky square like some of the other uh, products out there. Overall, I'm actually a big fan of this, and I especially like it for uh, my kids' rooms in that it's got an integrated nightlight, which is, again, something that is differentiated about this particular product and might have you picking this over another product.